Hello everyone, welcome to Spec eLearn, the online learning channel dedicated to chemical engineers. Compact heat exchangers, plate fin heat exchangers and plate heat exchangers. This course will be presented in two part series. Part 1 plate fin heat exchangers. Part 2 plate heat exchangers. In this video we will discuss part 1 plate fin heat exchangers. In this video course you will learn what is compact heat exchanger, the classification of compact heat exchangers, plate fin heat exchangers and their construction futures, plate fin heat exchangers types and their performance analysis, advantages and applications. Please subscribe to the channel. It will motivate us to produce more valuable knowledge content for your career progress. So subscribe now before you forget. Compact heat exchanger is characterized by high heat transfer area per unit volume of the heat exchanger. What is compact heat exchanger? The heat exchanger is having surface area density greater than 700 square meter per meter cube in either one or more sides of two stream or multi stream heat exchanger is called a compact heat exchanger. They are superior alternative to shell and drip heat exchangers due to the fact that they have superior heat transfer capabilities and can be cost effective. Classification of compact heat exchangers. Compact heat exchangers can be classified into plate fin heat exchangers and plate heat exchangers. Plate fin heat exchangers. Plate fin heat exchanger is a type of compact heat exchanger which is widely used in chemical industries, cryogenics and space applications. The plate fin exchangers are mainly employed for liquid to gas and gas to gas applications. Due to the low heat transfer coefficients in gas flows, Extended surfaces are commonly employed in plate pin heat exchangers. By using specially configured extended surfaces, heat transfer coefficients can be enhanced. Plate fin heat exchangers can be used for a wide range of applications in low temperature services, in petrochemical plants, gas treatment plants, natural gas liquefaction plants, air separation plants. To understand why plate fin heat exchangers are preferred over traditional cell and tube heat exchangers, consider you have four cold streams and one hot stream in the process. The cold streams to be warmed up and the hot streams to be cooled off. Which type of heat exchanger you will select for this purpose? It will be the plate fin heat exchanger. It permits you to pass multiple streams through the heat exchanger in one single unit. In plate fin exchanger, the heat transfer surface area is enhanced by providing extended metal surface interface between the two fluids called as the fins. They are characterized by high effectiveness, compactness, low weight and moderate cost. A plate fin heat exchanger consists of a stack of alternate flat plates called potting sheets and corrugated fins braced together as a block. Streams exchange heat by flowing along the passages made by the fins between the potting sheets.
the potting or separating plate act as a primary heat transfer surface. The fins act as a secondary heat transfer surfaces, intimately connected to the primary surface. This figure illustrates the assembly of a single flat pin in a plate fin heat exchanger. Process streams flow along the passages created by the fins between the potting sheets to exchange heat. Except the fluid inlet and outlets, the edge of each layer is sealed with the sidebars. The sidebars prevent the fluid to spill over and mix with the secondary fluid and to atmosphere. The fins and sidebars are braced with potting sheet to ensure good thermal link and to provide mechanical stability. The secondary surfaces or the fins provide structural strength and increase the heat transfer area. In this figure you can see a fully assembled plate fin heat exchanger with three passes. The hot fins and cold fins are placed one above the other alternatively. They are separated by parting plates forming the passage for cold stream and hot stream. The specification of the fin geometry also called core data include fin length, fin thickness, fin frequency, number of passes, fin height and plate thickness. Having understood the design and construction features of plate fin heat exchangers, we will now move on to have an insight into the types of fins. A variety of extended surfaces are used to enhance heat transfer coefficients in plate fin heat exchangers. Three types of fins are generally most common. Plate re rectangular fins, baby fins and offset fins. The plane fin surfaces have long uninterrupted flow passages. Triangular and rectangular cross section are the most commonly used. Plane fins are used in those applications where core pressure drop is critical. Wavy fins also have uninterrupted fin surfaces with cross section shapes similar to those of the plane fins but with cyclical passage perpendicular to the flow direction. In terms of performance with respect to the heat transfer and pressure drop, the wavy fins surface lie in between those of plane and offset strip fins. Offset strip fins is the most widely used fin geometry in high performance plate fin heat exchanges. It has an interrupted fin surface. Offset fins produce heat transfer performance which is five times that can be achieved with the plane fins of comparable geometry. The primary factors influencing selection of plate fin heat exchanger for a given heat duty are 1. Heat transfer coefficient Higher heat transfer coefficient means lower heat transfer area 2. Pressure drop Higher pressure drop means higher energy cost for pumping or compression 3. Compactness that is volume per unit area Lower volume per unit area means reduced plan layout or plan space in need of installation. Types of plate fin heat exchanger A plate fin heat exchanger can have two or more than two streams which may flow in directions parallel or perpendicular to one another. When the flow directions are parallel, the streams may flow in the same or in the opposite direction. So there are three primary flow arrangements for a plate fin heat exchanger. The three types of plate fin heat exchanger are shown in this figure. They are cross flow, counter current flow and cross counter current flow types. Plate fin heat exchanger performance The thermal performance of a plate fin heat exchanger 
depends mainly on the thermohydraulic characteristics of heat transfer surface. The fin produces a high heat transfer coefficient and higher pressure drop at low Reynolds number. Before we move on, I would like to make a call to my dear viewers. Your Spec Elon channel is a one-stop learning and skill development channel for your career. So do not forget to subscribe. Please press the subscribe button right now. Typically in a plate fin heat exchanger, the mass velocity g varies directly with the pressure drop to the power 0.5 to 1.0 and the heat transfer coefficient varies directly with the pressure drop to the power 0.3 to 0.4. Selection of appropriate fin geometry is driven by the process considerations, the pressure drop being the most important criteria. Since the heat exchanger is a part of the process network, process requirement generally specifies a maximum allowable delta P across the heat exchanger. And that limits the heat transfer coefficient obtainable for a given fin geometry. If higher heat transfer coefficient is required, pressure drop limit has to be compromised. What is a typical heat transfer area in compact heat exchanger? It depends on the number of fins per meter. A plate fin heat exchanger with 600 fins per meter provides about 1300 square meter of heat transfer surface area per cubic meter volume occupied by the fins. The designer has a choice to select the parameters such as fin frequency, fin dimensions for cold fluid side and hot fluid side depending on the heat load. For example, one can vary the fin density, fin frequency and the fin height to suit the design requirement. Heat transfer area of plate fin heat exchangers. A shell and dip heat exchanger with the two fluids report a single area, which is usually the outside surface area of the tubes. Compact exchanger design considerations report surface area for each process stream. The number of layers and fin characteristics required for different fluids may result in dramatically different heat transfer area for the different streams. The total heat transfer surface area for compact heat exchangers is the sum of the areas for all the process streams. For instance, you have a compact heat exchanger handling five process streams comprising one warm stream and four cold streams. What would be the area for this plate fin heat exchanger? The heat exchanger will have total surface area equal to the sum of the areas for five streams. Benefits of plate fin heat exchangers. Low investment cost due to very compact design taking less space low weight aluminum design, thus reducing cost for support structures, reduced number of items as many streams can be treated within only one combat heat exchanger unit. Low energy costs due to small possible temperature differences between the streams and low pressure drop. Please subscribe to our channel.
and get updates on the upcoming courses by pressing the subscribe button. It will motivate us to produce free knowledge rich video content for you. With this we have come to the end of the presentation. Please give your comments if any about this course after you finished viewing this video. Share with your friends and colleagues to reach out to large number of career oriented professional students. Thank you for watching.